Hey, hey guys. I'm gonna wait until everybody gets on and then we shall get started. So if you're listening to a replay of this, please fast forward a little bit. Whoa, the glare on my glasses is so bad. <laughs> but I can't see anything without glasses, so I'm gonna keep them on, I think. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a fabulous Thursday. I'm so excited for today. This is such an awesome day every time we do this, I swear. Um, just seeing people have their aha moments and seeing the joy in um, people when they have an aha moment to me fills my cup beyond belief. So I'm so glad to have you here. I'm glad to be here because whoever knew anybody would want to hear anything I have to say. <laughs> um, so we will get started here in about a minute. Um, Jen did such a good job. So if you guys did not listen to Jen, if you just came in, please go listen to Jen's training because she is like the truth dealer, man. That girl um, gets me fired up. And she, thank you for introducing me so sweetly, Jen. I am so lucky to have friends that like me. Because <laughs> sometimes, you know, like we can all be a handful and it's nice to have good friends who just love you for who you are. So thank you for introducing me, Jen. Those are super nice things to say. If you want to know more about me, just go listen to her training. I don't want to spend the time talking about myself. Um, just a couple of things you don't know, maybe, or maybe you do. I'm a sloth lover. I am a Jeep Wrangler driver. I am. I love Kung Fu movies. I love Star Trek and Star Wars. Um, <laughs> just a total random person. I listen to reggae music um, and then you'll hear me listening to Beastie Boys and then you'll hear me listening to Biggie and then you might hear me listening to country. <laughs> just a totally random person. If you ever need random common knowledge, come to me because I know about the dumbest things ever and I will educate you on the dumbest things ever. But you know what else I know? I know about Sensi. And I'm here to help you guys find your passion and your joy. Because guess what happens this time of year? Okay, I know you guys are all going to be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so what happens is, is that we're coming off this, like, so we don't really have a slow season. But we're coming off of this super busy season from Christmas. And we're like, oh, my gosh, what just happened? And then we start thinking things in our head, right? We start telling ourselves people are out of money. They don't want to spend after Christmas. We start telling ourselves all these lies and we believe them just because maybe two people told us that. We're like, well, the other billion, million, trillion, gazillion people in this world are broke too because I asked people and two of them told me that they were broke from Christmas, so it must be true. Not really, guys. I have people that seriously live on social security income that will come to me every month and buy Sensi. Um, Sensi is a great product because it's consumable. Nobody can duplicate it. And people always come back for more because they want their house to smell good, right? We're not selling a weight loss, you know, supplement or anything like that. We don't have to tell anybody that they don't look good. We just say, Hey, you want to smell good? You want your family to smell good? I gotcha. How cool is that? Right? So let's get right into the training because I've got lots and lots, lots of stuff, lots of notes. Again, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I'm Andy Teeter. I'm a superstar director. And um, I've been a superstar director for about a year and a half. 2017, September of 2017. I, <laughs> I believe that's when I hit it. Um, and I'm so lucky to know all of these lovely people that are about to train you today. They have such awesome things to say. So I hope you tune in, take notes. Um, they're all going to be recorded. So they're going to be here on the page and, um, yeah. And I also want to say, say thank you to Candy Hine because Candy had this idea and came to me about starting this page and I thought it was brilliant. And I was like, I want in, I want to help you. So we became partners and I just want to say thank you, Candy, for being the awesome friend and person you are. So let's get started. How do you find joy in anything really, including your business, right? So how do you find joy? How do you find passion again that you once had? I hear so many people complaining this time of year because again, a lot of us, you know, we go through maybe slower times, right? Um, after Christmas and we need to rebound for the new catalog. 
and our teams are kind of feeling in a slump. We might feel in a slump and this is the time of year where it's kind of like our new year's, right? Like March 1st, we're like, all right, I'm back in the game. And this is going to give you a fresh start today. First, it's self care guys. If you are not giving yourself the things that you need that make you happy, you can't do well at anything else. And I'm going to get into so many aspects of this. I'm so excited. Some of you have heard me say a couple of things like this, but it's a newer training um, that I've done. So I went to boot camp for my first time. Um, hit, when I was a director, I went to boot camp. And I looked around the room at these beautiful men and women. And you know what stuck out? 95% of them were so insecure. They felt inadequate. They um, were unsure about themselves. And I sat around and I'm like, gosh, man, I remember being in that place in life. And it is not a good place to be in, right? When you feel unsure about yourself and you're not doing things to make yourself happy, you're not, you're not able to bring joy to others. When you can't, as a leader of a team of one or a thousand or 10,000, if you can't bring joy to others and inspire others and be positive for others, your team isn't going to do well either, period. Um, I see people saying, well, I can't, you know, hit title. I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, what were you doing for your business when you were hitting title? Because I guarantee you, you're not recruiting like you used to. You're not feeling the passion and the fire like you used to. So what can you do for self-care? First of all, I'm here to tell you, you guys were created for a reason. Whether you believe in God or aliens or whatever you believe that created us, I don't really care and I'm not here to judge you. But you were here, created here for a reason. Look how amazing our bodies are. Like this is off subject, but our bodies, our brains, everything together. We had to have a creator. And they're looking down, sideways, up, <laughs> wherever they are at us. And they're like, Dang, I didn't mean that for that person. They're not living up to their potential. They're not bringing others joy. They're super negative about life. Their mindset sucks. And they're waiting for you to make changes. <laughs> we can't let them down, right? So what can you do for self-care? Bubble bath. That's what I like to do at night. I give myself a bubble bath. I lay there. I kind of think about um, what I'm going to do the next day and what I will accomplish. Uh, I clear my mind. Some of you knit, some of you craft. For those of you that say, I don't have time for those things anymore. Well, guess what? You create your own schedule. So if you have to wake up 30 minutes earlier to knit a scarf or take a bubble bath, then do it. Wake up 30 minutes earlier and do the thing for yourself that you need to do to create the day that you need to have to make this world beautiful. Okay? Guys, deal with your past. Please deal with your past. We have all been neglected, abused by someone, our family, friends. We have all had a crappy life, some crappier than others. Write down whatever you're dealing with and throw it, that shit away or go burn it in the backyard every single day if you have to because you need to let go of those things in order to grow into that beautiful flower you are, okay? What they did to you is done. There's nothing you can do about it. And shittiness will happen to them because that's how karma is. So don't you worry about that. Karma will get them. This is your time to shine. And you can't be bogged down by what somebody else did to you. They're going to pay. Trust me. Deal with your past. Your mind has to be right. Which brings me to my second thing. Your mindset. Okay, first disclaimer, am I saying I always have a good mindset? No. Am I saying that the, the next day after I take my bubble bath and I think about the words that came out of my mouth, do I have a good mindset? Usually. Why? I don't know. I'm a little outspoken. Sometimes I say, say things I shouldn't. And um, I'm working on that. But we all make mistakes. We all have a bad mindset from time to time, but here's what I'm here to tell you. 
if you wake up every single day or almost every single day, because we're not perfect, you can tell yourself you get to do this. Not that you have to. Tomorrow I have a brunch party, right? A, a home party. I don't hardly ever do home parties. Well, I have a million other things that I want to do, right? But A, this is bringing me money. B, I love the girls that are doing this for me. C, my business is number two after my family. So I'm going to go do these things to make a successful business. But if I wake up and think I have to do this home party tomorrow, if I go to bed thinking, oh God, I have to do this home party. It's going to be horrible, blah, blah, blah. But if you wake up and you say, damn, I just woke up. I'm breathing. I get to do this home party. I get to do follow-ups. I get to go to this party and meet new people. I get to drive to this party in my car that I pay for. <laughs> I get to go to this home party. Not that I have to, you get to do these things. If you change your mindset to think that, beautiful things can happen, guys. Beautiful things. The other thing we heard Heidi touch on, um, and it's also in a book, I can't remember the name of the book, the mindset book, but if you say you haven't or you, you're not this or you're not that, um, it brings a bad mindset, right? So instead say, I haven't yet. I haven't hit director yet. I haven't recruited 10 people in a month yet. I haven't had a $2,000 a month yet, right? So shift that mindset, guys. It ain't easy. Trust me. I know that some days you want to wake up and you seriously want to cut everybody. I, trust me. Trust me, I know. But guess what? Some people might not like it. I got two people blocked on Facebook. You know why? They don't bring joy to my life. Every time they talk, I feel like seriously throwing up. If you don't, if they don't bring joy to you, block them. You don't have to see them. You're a grown adult. If something doesn't bring you joy in your life, don't do it. Okay? Like if something doesn't bring, if you don't like making samples for Scentsy, don't do it. You don't have to. I hardly ever make samples and I'm here successful. So you don't, you don't have to, if it doesn't bring you joy, don't do it. Um, <laughs> and why do I tell you these things? Cause again, guys, if I can be here as a superstar director and a big hot mess, you can too. Always have faith. And I know this is hard sometimes, but always have faith. Sensi has our backs. Sensi is a business. They want to make money. So just stop and think about this for a second. Sensi is a business. They want to make money. We own businesses. We want to make money. Well, if something is really wrong with the system, Sensi will change it, right? Email them. Um, email Heidi, Orville, Chuck, whoever you need to. Email them and make suggestions. And maybe they'll come back and tell you a reason that that's put in place. And usually that's the case. And it's a really good reason. Trust me. Um, break down your goals. So here is something that I think Orville spoke on years and years ago that I really took with me and it made things so much easier. So if you're going for, let's say you're going for a director and you're looking at that 10,000 TWV and you're like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? Stop. Break it down. If you have two people under you going for star consultant, they can't be on the same line because if one's going, that wouldn't push you up TWB. But you have two people going for star director. There's 5,000 TWB right there that you need. You're halfway done. Two people can change your business. Two more people going lead. There's two more thousand. So now we're up to 7,000. We'll say that you have a two to $3,000 a month of PRV. Oh, but wait, there's more. You've got a whole other team of 10 people who are putting in 2,000 to, to, to 200 to $2,000 as well. There's your 10,000. Just break it down. And if you help others accomplish their goals, you're going to hit yours automatically. Isn't it beautiful? And if you're not ready, you're not ready. I missed, I missed um, director by $47. Systems were down. Didn't know where we were at. Um, it is what it is. 
uh, instead of complaining to Sensi and you know whatever, I just got up, I cried a whole bunch, and the next day I was like, you know what? I need to recruit. I need to grow. I need to. It's not anybody else's responsibility. I need to do these things. I need to recruit two to two or more a month, and I need to put in two thousand or more. Why do I want to put in two thousand or more? Number one, that's a great cushion. You get a, a five percent bonus when you put in two thousand. Number two, because if you are really following up with your customers like you should and you're putting in your 2000 you're naturally going to be talking to more people and you're going to have a chance to plant the seeds and recruit to more people than you normally would okay um let go of control guys learn how to delegate control freaks make me cringe and i'm sorry i'm saying that and if you're my friend and you're a control freak i love you but your husband might mess up the laundry, your wife might burn dinner, um, your boyfriend might feed the kids something that they shouldn't. You have to let go of control and learn how to delegate things if you want to be good in this business because you're going to burn yourself out if you don't. Your team is capable of doing training. So how about bringing them on, asking other leaders to do trainings for you? Don't put it all on yourself, guys. Don't put life on yourself. There's tons of people that are willing to help you. You just have to ask. Take a break. Not from your business. Take a break from social media, games, shows, Netflix, and fill them with revenue-generating activities. What are revenue-generating activities? I'll tell you in a second. Who's your circle of five? We've been hearing a lot about this. Who's your circle of five? Who are the people that make you feel better? People that do better than you so you can look up to them? If you're looking up to people and you're comparing yourself and you're like, oh, I'm never going to be there. They do good. I don't. But if you change that mindset and you're like, my friends do better than me, that is lifting me. Okay? They are encouraging me to do better. It's all about your mindset, guys. You want to be around people that are doing better than you. I surrounded myself with people that did better and wanted better because I wanted better. And I learned from them. I asked them, what are you doing? And I still ask them, I don't know everything. I still ask them all kinds of questions. And people that are up and coming, I'm like, what are you doing with your business? I wanna know. I always wanna know how to make it better. So what are revenue generating activities? Number one, are you meeting new people on a weekly basis? After all, we're in network marketing, aren't we? Well, you can't succeed in network marketing if you're not networking. So where are you going? If you're going to the post office, who are you talking to? Are you getting to know them? Are you building a relationship? Are you finding ways to keep in touch with them? Are you reaching out to new friends in your area, having coffee with them, going out for drinks, going out to lunch? Um, are you making the time to meet new people? Are you going online to, to groups that maybe have the same interest as you and um, adding them as friends and getting to know them online? Um, if you're playing games, are you meeting new people within those games? If you're online on Xbox or whatever, are you meeting new people and finding ways to keep in touch with them? It's not so, um, one of our teammates, Christy, she said the other day, she has been chugging and pushing for a director hard. And she said she had to stop. And instead of focusing on when am I going to talk about Sensi? When am I going to talk about Sensi? Whenever you're talking to someone, actually just talking to them, making friends, getting to know people. And if Sensi is naturally going to come up, guys, they're going to ask you, you you're going to be wearing a Sensi shirt. Um, you're going to be carrying a Sensi bag. You're going to be wearing a Sensi hat. You're going to be talking about what you do for a living and it's going to come up naturally. Listen to them, get to know them. What's their favorite color? I don't know. Do they pick their nose? Do they wear, I don't know. Do they wear jackets in cold weather? I don't know. Just get to know them. Open your mouth and ask questions. Don't do all the talking. Um, so meet new people is a revenue generating activity Two. Follow up with, oh, by the way, networking is about your team too. Building relationships with your team, not just customers, 
by the way, following up. Are you following up with your possible new recruits? Are you following up with your hostesses? Are you following up with your customers? If you don't have Maven, you need to get it because it's the easiest follow up ever. Um, are you following up with your new friends that you met, asking them to go on another coffee date? Are you following up with your team? Are you planting seeds with these people about the joy that Sensi brings you, whether it's pay, travel, friendship, um, flexibility? Are you, follow, are you following up with them and, and planting these seeds? Every, every, everybody, at all the time. How do you recruit, Andy? How do you recruit? Well, I mention it to people, and I mention it to every single person. It's probably a joke where I live that I've asked everybody, everybody here. They're probably all getting together as friends, like, oh, she asked me to join too. <laughs> because I literally say, have you ever thought about doing this? You'd be, well, if they're not going to be good at it, I don't say you'd be awesome and I don't ask them. But if they're friendly and I feel like they're willing to learn and they love Sensi already, or maybe they don't and they're looking for a business, I say, have you ever thought about doing this? And then I trained myself how to deal with the objections that they have the best that I can, which you'll hear today probably if you, if you don't. Um, hear it today. Go to my YouTube. I have it there. Somebody else's YouTube. Learning objections is super easy. You just you just shoot back with something positive. Number three, are you building relationships? So I guess this could have went in with the other two, but are you building relationships with these people? Your customers, your team, your hostesses. Um, for your team, are you working with the willing? Because it can burn you out working with people that don't want it. And if you've got a team full of people that don't want it, guess what? Go get more, because there's people out there that want it, trust me. Since he's growing, since he's flourishing, you can see it in tons of people, but you have to get the right people sometimes, and it's up to you to recruit and teach your team to recruit. Um, if you have a call with a teammate that is negative, then schedule a call with somebody else that's super positive, right? Um, I got to go quick because it's almost time. <laughs> um, it's okay for people to vent to you and for you to vent to your upline, but always come up with a solution, right? Don't just complain to complain. It's icky. You got to come up with solutions, right? Parties, recruits. These are revenue generating activities. Making samples is not necessarily, so it can be left out. Keep your parties fresh. Tomorrow I'm doing a, a brunch, mimosa kind of thing. And um, my hostess is, and I think we have like 15 to 18 people coming. It's an open house. It's two hours. It's 10 to 12. Um, or no, sorry, 12 to 2. <laughs> I got to look. But um, super easy peasy. Everybody's coming to see all the new products, smell all the new scents. And um, we kept it fun. And I don't even think we mentioned the word party in there. Um, to close a deal with anything do not force people do not feel like you need to talk them into it deal with their objection and move on if it's not if it's not working and they're not saying yes then there's nothing you can do to make them say yes sometimes it's just time I have people two years down the road who eventually say yes number five train 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 um, do podcasts read books um, educate yourself by asking others how to be successful in this business. And number six, find a mentor or an accountability partner, somebody that's positive. Do not, I made this mistake, do not surround yourself with people who are having the same problems you are and they're all down in the dumps and they're not recruiting. I'm sorry, but don't do it. Do not let yourself get into that trash can because it is a hard, slippery slope up. You surround yourself with people who want it bad. People, yes, you can be real and you might be having problems, but are you coming up with positive, positive solutions? That is what I want to know. And are you going to move forward? Guess what the secret is to this business? This business secret is that you cannot quit. You are not a quitter. You started this business. That is the hardest part. And I am not going to let you quit. Your upline is not going to let you quit. Your sponsor is not going to let you quit. The difference between you and people that are successful is because they never gave up. They might have thought about it. They've definitely failed. They've definitely feared. They've definitely cried, cried, cried about this business from time to time. Mostly it is joy though. It is straight joy being positive and being energetic, sharing with others, filling others' cups, and then your cup will get filled in return. Get back up and move forward. 
with bravery and intent, guys, intent every day, bravery, radiate that belief that you can do this and you will do this. If you want to get paid like it's a business, then you have to start running it like it's a business. Use that hour or two of your time and bust your booty doing revenue generating activities that we just went over. It's your responsibility, no one else's. I don't want to hear it's your sponsor's fault, your customer's fault, your team's fault, nobody but you. Do not look back, look forward. We had, a we had somebody come train us at reunion and um, she was on the America's Greatest Race. And she said that she kept looking back, she was racing and she was rowing and she kept looking back and the guy in back of her said, winning is this way. If your friends and your team don't want to go this way and win, then you let them fall to the back of the race because you are going to win this race and you don't have to be in first place. Just finishing a race sometimes is winning. Up next. So you guys know she is a dear friend of mine. One of my best friends, Steffi. Steffi Malbro is also my sponsor. She was my original sponsor. How cool is that? Um, some people are like, oh, you guys are such good friends. I'm like, yeah, but we're also on each other's team. Like, I'm her front line. Um, she joined February of 2011. She's been in 11 years, or eight years, not 11, eight years. This chick has moved five times with her business. So see y'all, if y'all have excuses, there's always somebody else out there having the same excuse or worse, and they're working their business. She's a multiple trip earner, international team leader. She is a fellow donut lover, taco lover, and this chick eats the most kindergarten food ever, and I love her. Also, she enjoys hugs. She loves hugs. So please go hug her when you see her. I'm just kidding. She doesn't like hugs, <laughs> but still hug her because I do it. I force them upon her. So you guys, I'm going to let you go. Steffi's up next. Um, Steffi is going to talk to you guys about fundraisers. She does really kick-ass fundraisers. So she's going to talk to you guys about fundraisers. Please be the person you're meant to be and go do something awesome this week or this month. It is a new catalog. No excuses, guys. Go do this. I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Hopefully, Marco Island or Austin, or I'm actually coming to R3 reunion as well. So I hope to see some of our R3 girls as well. So bye, guys.